Hello? Oh, Daddy, I have the most wonderful, incredible state-of-the-art news for you. Guess where I am in this precise, exact state-of-the-art moment? In Sydney, Australia. Isn't it wonderful? You love a duck. Weren't you in Turkey? Don't worry about the details. The important thing is that we're in Australia. Is it true that everyone in those parts lives with their heads growing downwards? No, Daddy, they're all perfectly upright citizens. Well, I thought soon as how they're on the underside of the planet. Now, Daddy, have you ever heard about the law of gravity? Isn't that when you've eaten too much and your belly sinks to your feet? Of course not. It means we're attracted by the Earth by a force that pushes us downwards. That's what I mean. Huh? Your head grows down and wash your feet. It's not important. What counts is that this is the land of the koalas and I've always dreamed of seeing them live. Tomorrow's my chance. We go to Koala Park. No way. Koala Park is to the north and we have to head straight east. Oh, it's just a bit out of the way. A bit out of the way? <laughs> Look, we have to be at Ayers Rock in a week. Tilda. What's the problem? We can go on Ali with his flying gig potion. Sorry, kiddo. I've run out of the ingredients for the flying gig and I can't find them in this weird city. That means we have to cross four separate deserts, travel hundreds of miles. We can do it standing on our heads and with our hair in a braid. Tilda! Tilda! Couldn't you hold your meetings later? We can't afford to waste time, Don't Tilda. Don't you dare call a visit to Koala Park wasting time, your highness. Tilda, this is long distance. I'll call you back later, Daddy. Mm. She's always had her head in the clouds. I suppose I don't have to worry about it growing downwards. Very well, very well. Take whatever road you choose. I'll catch up with you later. No, the only time we ever separated, Eagle Con almost got the better of us. Then come with me. Koala Park is the most beautiful place in the world. Tilda, we're not on a classroom outing here. The koala is simply the most marvelous animal ever seen on Earth, and you'll not prevent me from going to Koala Park. Yes, but we have to pick up the third fragment of the Shariman. Forget it. <laughs> Anything to do with koalas, and she's a basket case. Oh, all right, you win. I said you win, Tilda. <sighs> <sighs> And I always thought the scorpion was the most marvelous animal ever seen on night. You are asking to see me? Fireheart is now in a land called Australia. Well, replace the antipodes. I am just buying down their 3,000 oil wells. Be silent and listen. Australia will be Fireheart's tomb. <laughs> but before I can act, I need to store up energy. So your task will be to fend him off for a while. And how I do? Use your well-known evil. Excellent suggestion. Koalas sleep for 18 hours every day, and their diet is composed exclusively of eucalyptus leaves. They never have to wash because they smell like eucalyptus. They learn everything in three months' time. Their mother's milk imbues them with intelligence, strength, and all the wiles necessary to survive in a state of nature. Do they really sleep for 18 hours a day? Quite. It's well documented. Oh, why wasn't I born a koala? Look, there's a family up there. You mean a coalition? Hello, little lovies. Isn't he adorable? Very handsome. Mm, he's wonderful. <sighs> no, Ducky, that's not a long lost cousin. It's simply a computer. Oh! Oh, this is a disaster. Can it be repaired? I have grave doubts. If we hadn't come up... Not one word! <laughs> huh? He made wee-wee on me. Not to worry, Ben. There's just a refreshing perfume of eucalyptus. But it's still wee-wee. The expedition to Koala Park is officially over, Tilda. <gasps> Fair dinkum, cover.
I can't wait for the little prince to meet Kabe. It's wonderful to be on a camel again. It makes me feel at home. Do not speak heresy. This land wasn't even on Zenim's chart. And he knew everything. But for all that, it's still a desert like ours. And look there, that's a lizard, just like the ones around our parts. A little bigger, but still a nice lizard. Hello, you sweet thing. <laughs> 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 Look over there, a bunch of cacti. Maybe we can get some water from them. No? Oh, it's awful. Just like I told you, this ain't a desert. Well, at least the weather's lovely and there are no storms okay. in sight. Huh? <laughs> I'm an infallible weatherman. My strength is almost at maximum! Farhat will rule the day! Mm. He's already gone through 82 oil wells. Curse him! What's that strange noise? Whatever it is, I don't like it. I've no more water. Nor do I. Now what? I'll take care of it. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Ali's a wizard at finding water in the desert. He knows all the tricks. I've never seen anything like it in all my nearly 900 years. It's as though there was never a drop of water anywhere on the planet. Something tells me that Ali did not find any water. Let's keep going. If we don't find water soon, we'll never get to Aya's We'll find it. Over there. Excuse me, friend. Is there any water around here? Oh, maybe you don't understand me. We need water. Need water. Over that way, there is water. Thank you. No. But he said that... Water is closer, isn't it? Much closer. Isn't that true, my friend? You mean to say he was making fun of us? I'll show him. You shouldn't joke about the water in the <laughs> desert. He wasn't having us on, Ben. He was testing us. If you have enough for yourself, can you give us a bit of your water? <gasps> Don't drink it. It might be poison. No, it's all right. <sighs> Delicious. <gasps> Are we heading the right way for Ayer's Rock? I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit. You must never, ever, ever trust a stranger who might poison you. Right. But he didn't poison me. Now just listen here, Bubala. There are many kinds of poisons. Some only <gasps> kick in after several hours. And I tell you he didn't poison me. I'm sure of it. That guy, that water guy, he's following us. How can he keep up with us? He's on foot. I knew it. I knew it. I'm always right. Never trust a water cheater. And I have had the experience. Ah. Obviously, experience can be deceiving. I tell you, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this water. It's pure and fresh. Have some, and you'll find out. Not me, Booba Lab. I ain't drinking that dreck. Tilda drank it, Ben drank it, and we're all just fine. That creep is just waiting for the poison to take effect so we can rob our corpses. Ah! You ah. see what I see? Huh? I believe you were mentioning creeps just now. What 
it's a very interesting coincidence. I was hoping to test you against Cobber, my boxing champion. <laughs> I told you so. It was a trap. That water cheetah led us straight to Snatch Club. You just have a nasty, suspicious nature. He had nothing uh -huh. to do with it. Well, since you're so palsy with him, you won't be needing me no more. <laughs> what is the matter, your highness? Afraid of a mere little machinski? <sighs> you can't tackle that machine all alone. I've been challenged to a duel. My honor is at stake. Here I am, Snarchkov. <laughs> We have to help him. The kid needs to be taught a lesson regarding respect for his elders. The truth is you're jealous of that aborigine gentleman. Me? How could you think that? If I had any bones in my body, there wouldn't be a jealous one among them. Keep your guard up high! <laughs> Never beat that machine. But what can we do? That thing's an armored division all by itself. <gasps> Just a minute. <laughs> the computer's a catastrophe. I can't do a thing with it. <laughs> We'd need a miracle. All right. Yeah. What is it? A little item I just knocked together. The miracle you put in an order for. Put it on your computer. I'm calling it the Tilda gig in your honor. Two against one is not fair fight. <laughs> uh -huh. Now count up to seven. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, uh, seven. Uh, I say it works! Uh, I mean, you're uh, quite the most remarkable genius ever. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. Good stuff, huh? <laughs> Tilda, please do something quick. That kangaroo is basically a computer. So if I can get into its gizzard, I can accomplish a great deal of mayhem. I wonder what password Snarchkov would use. Oh, what do you think? No, that's obvious, and Snarchkov is devious. Well, sometimes the simplest solutions. Ha! Wonderful. We've got it right first time not. out. Yes. <laughs> Now it's your turn, Mr. Snartkoff. Begin by striking yourself. What gives here? Help! Get me out of here! Now, we set Shadow free. You stupid tin can! And now for the final touch. Someone please stop in this horrible machine! Ah! Well, Mr. Ali, I believe the honor should be yours. Hey. What do I do, Han? Press this key. Yeah! Farhat! Are you all right? Oh. Oh. Farhat, my boy! It was some of the worst fighting I've seen in a hundred years. Double training sessions and wakeouts from but now Ali. on. But the important thing is that you're safe. Here, drink this. The Sharaman awaits. Do it! Oh. You did your part very ably, Abdul Snatskov. Congratulations! There is no need you should be sarcastic. Now wait here till I get back! I gang nowhere. <laughs> How do you feel? Like a parachute is whose chute didn't open. Even with Ali's potion. Well, 
then, take a good look ahead of you and I dare say you'll feel better. That's Ayers Rock, Farhad, we uh -huh. made it! The world's largest monolith. The Australian Aboriginals call it Uluru. They say it's been there since the beginning of time and it was carved by their ancestors in the time of dreams. And just what is this dream time? Did you hear that? Shh. It's the same rumble we heard before. It's coming back. Over there. I don't hear a thing. Farhat is right. I hear oh, something come as well. On. Sunset's not far off. It's almost time to get the third fragment of the Sharaman. Yes, let's go. But I have a funny feeling about this. This former seabed, dried up eons ago by prehistoric demons, shall be the site of my uh, final uh, overpowering victory! Uh, 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 I... Uh, Agura Malka Sheen Shamish Palenque! What's going on here? An earthquake? Uh, no, it's something different. Something never before uh, seen. We seem to be in the midst of waves of sand and rock. It's incredible. Howling sandstorms. This ain't kosher. Everyone down! <laughs> Ali's right. This isn't natural, it's demoniacal magic. Look, over oh. there! Oh, no one and nothing will escape the devastation that is about to ensue. I have to stop him. Go ahead, Farhawk. No. Sling your pitiful little pebbles. An ocean of sand will swallow them up forever. We gotta fight this another way. What? This is the hardest stuff to swallow I ever stunk a thing. <laughs> Protection gig! At least force field won't hold out very long. Shadow, dig us a shelter, yeah, hurry! Boss. It's done. At long last, evil has triumphed and the world is mine! This day you have earned a reward. Well, what is gold, uranium, the precious jewel? Even better, the lives of Farhat's parents. Ah, Judas, Pasiba, this is marvelous reward. <laughs> I have a terrible presentiment. I'm afraid something has happened to Farhat. No, my dear, it's not possible. He is very <sighs> possible. Your son, Farhat, is dead. Are you hearing me? Oh. <gasps> dead as a door Curse you! And now is your turn. But oh. yours will not be easy death like this from your son. Yours is being slow and painful. Are you understanding? Oh. My protection gig was so protectious, I couldn't get it off my skin. I'll have to work on that. At any rate, it was a help. I'll never make it this way. It's time for a little ingenuity. It's no good. I gotta come up with something else. Only what? Finally, this water will be good for something. Oh. 
I will start out with you, your ex-highness. <laughs> this for all the times you are humiliating. Stay your hand, huh? Snarchkov. There's been a change in plans. Farhat is still among the living. This is of an impossibility. A mountain is falling on him. The cursed scorpion wrapped them in a protective spell that saved them all. And as long as Farhat is still alive, I huh? need his parents as hostages. I can't stand it! But don't get your hopes up, you two. I still have a few surprises left. I think a house fell on me. Voice, it was a mountain. How did we ever manage to survive it? You'll never know. It was all you're doing, Ali. I should have listened to you from the start. Now maybe you've learned a lesson. At any rate, it's time for a little action. The uh, Sherman, remember? The third crystal will appear at sunset. You've got to hurry, Farhat. She got that Go. right. Get a move on. It's too far. No, howling sandstorms. It looks like I gotta put in overtime today. Here's the velocity gig. Move it. Where are you? Where are you? Effects of the velocity oh. giga wearing off. <coughs> Shariman, appear to me! Show yourself! Oh, oh no! Oh no! He didn't oh. make it. We got there just seconds too late. This is the end of all things. The Shariman will disappear forever. You've lost, Farhat! Without the magic crystals, you're just an insignificant little worm! May you be cursed, Eagle Con! Fire away, little boy, fire away! Your stones are losing their power with every passing second! But first, your dear parents will have to pay uh, with their lives, and you'll have to suffer in helpless silence! Then your hour will come as well! I'm going to find Farhat. Why? Yes, why? There's no way you can help him. Uh. I can't stand knowing he's so downcast. He'll be ill. Respect his pain is my advice. <laughs> Please, Tilda, leave me alone. Your weeping is like a song of love, young man. I need to be alone if you don't mind. You have come to the land of my ancestors to find the great light, have you not? You speak English? My name is Tabajay, and you are Farhat. Uh, you know me? You have come to this land to find the great light? Yes, if that's what your people call the Shariman, but I have failed utterly. So, young prince, did you see the great light? What do you mean, Tabajay? While the sun was going to his home in the western havens, did you see the light of the Shariman? Do you mean, did I notice the light of the magic crystals shining? Well, it wasn't like the other times. The sun blinded me, and then suddenly everything went dark. That is because the time had not yet come for the great light to give out its splendor. In the land of the ancestors, the great light follows only the path of dreams. Do you mean that there is still hope? No questions, Farhat. Only answers. Do you feel you're ready? Will you help me? Yes, I will help. Then I am ready. Lead me to the great light, Tabajay. <laughs> <laughs> 